Hi, I'm Bobby Quintos, co-founder with Ian Nguyen of Delta Offshore Energy. We are delighted to share with our audience our project in Vietnam, which is a 3.2 gigawatt power plant and LNG terminal in Bakliu province. Please feel free to comment on the link below with your questions. Electricity. It is the backbone of industrialization and the heart of advancement. It drives the machinery in the factories that generate the wealth and powers the homes and the classrooms that generate the future. Countries and human societies are analogous to machines or organisms. The more energy available to the countries, the more growth and complexity is achieved by the country, albeit the organism grows. For example, countries that have no access to natural gas or oil products will typically have its citizens prepare food by burning wood and traveling by foot or bicycles. These countries have low or negative growth and the majority of their citizens live in abject poverty. There is no industry without electricity and without industry, there are no jobs. Energy deficient countries will typically have a breakdown in governance and civil authorities, which in turn leads to internal violent conflicts. The great American anthropologist, Mrs. Betty Meggers, who studied the rise and fall of Mesoamerican civilization said it best. If an increase in energy resources or their control results in increased cultural complexity, a decline in energy resources should result in a decline in cultural complexity. At the start of the 20th century, the world's leading economy was mostly agriculture. By the end of the 20th century, it was industrialized and enjoying the highest standards of living in human history. The key to that transformation was electricity. Energy independence and access to a reliable source of uninterrupted fuel stocks such as LNG provides a stable platform for growth and prosperity. As the world economy becomes more and more intertwined, there is no longer a reason, technology-wise, for a country like Vietnam not to benefit from energy abundance from the United States, for example. The technology Delta provides allows for quicker deployment and less expensive cost per kilowatt hour than what was available 10 years ago. Our solution utilizes proven technology to provide reliable and clean energy to Vietnam. In southern Vietnam today, a visionary new power plant for Bac Liu province is being developed by Delta Offshore Energy. It is a starting point for such a transformation in the economy and the life of the province. Vietnam's government has demonstrated the political will to achieve the country's development and started a policy transition that will do so. Last year, the National Assembly issued important legislation that enabled foreign direct investment, created a business-friendly environment, and most importantly, facilitated the Baklu LNG to power plant in the current National Power Development Plan with the help of Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc. They have set the stage for transformation. Fueled by liquefied natural gas, LNG, the 3.2 gigawatt power plant will provide enough electricity to power factories, hospitals, businesses, schools, and more than 32 million homes. When completed in 2024, it will bring the province a true engine for growth. The solution for bringing abundant, affordable electricity to Vietnam is to use gas-fired power plants under good, efficient management. Gas is the cleanest globally available fuel, is plentiful throughout the world, and provides long-term low-cost price stability. Delta Offshore Energy and its strategic partners have great expertise in gas to power. We use well-established and innovative technologies to transport, receive, store, and regasify LNG, and will bring Vietnam the power solutions that it needs. Many voices have united behind this grand vision. In January of 2020, the Prime Minister approved the LNG to power plant for location in Vinh Hao, a commune, Ho Binh District of Bac Liu and included the project in the National Power Development Plan. The LNG to power project follows the government protocol with the investment license and investment registration certificate granted by the People's Committee of Bac Liu. Only a few steps remain for the transformation to begin.